the bar is open. are here to party.
Hey everybody, welcome in for the very last episode of Season 1 of Batman and Telltale series. We are going to wrap up Season 1 tonight. We'll take a one week break from Batman starting next Monday. And then we'll start Season 2 the following Monday. So, let's get in there. The reason I don't connect when I start is because it plays music during the countdown and it really screws it up in my head. <laughs> I get two different soundtracks going. So um, it's uh, cp.telltale.com. Oh, yeah, audio is never really synced up completely. Unless you're saying, like, it's still playing music or something. But we'll sit here and wait for the game to load in and get going with the last episode. This is the, uh, I think it's called City of Light. It was, but is okay now. It's weird. That has got to be a mixer thing. You put the boom boom into my heart. Hey, Mads. That is loud. All right, so we are in episode six, season one, the finale of the first season. Oh, I'm sorry, episode five, not six. Five, it's five episodes. Still the finale. All right, so let's get started, and then you guys can get logged in for crowd play. There is your code, JZGDBZ. See if I, I'm going to log in on an account as well to make sure it works. Uh, we'll go with that color. Yep, okay. D666D, I know who that is. Squirrel, yeah, we're not out of any trouble tonight. Oh yeah, um, I guess for a couple of people that aren't mods who are in here. Um, that's actually you? Uh, okay, sweet. Uh, Dr. Death uh, was extended an offer and accepted to take on some mod duties. Uh, Linden went back to work, so... Thursdays are definitely out for him now, and uh, while we're not taking anything away from Linden, um, Thursdays are, are with Chris also working. Uh, it's a light, a lighter day for mods, and we wanted to, um, I wanted to ha make sure that we had enough mod coverage for wrestling. So um, Doctor Death's always here; um, he's always on time. Uh, he's always in the chat, especially for wrestling, and that's really where the mods need it. Uh, we need the mods the most. So welcome aboard, Chief. I'll wait for Dustin to get back in. Okay, now I see him. Um, only two is the Dr. Death and Mads. He always shares his popcorn, another another good character feature. Here's Dr. Death, you gonna get in, Mads? Or are you just watching? Are you making dinner? Okie dokie, well then, everybody's in and let's get going. Obvious, that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs. But the innocent people were a small price to pay. <laughs> 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 
You don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Well, thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Bruce, all of your back tech is linked of our to this computer. Those Ned spreads. Welcome aboard. It will all be inoperable. Tales of our endeavors proliferate. Oh, that's a big drop. 13 people. Thanks, Magellan. Seriously, welcome in, guys. We're playing Batman, a Telltale series, season one, episode five, which is the finale. There's a code, J Z G D B Z. You can join in and help us make decisions at telltale.com slash crowdplay. We just started. Five days later. Breaking news. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Carry on, Jen. Boss says it's time to get the bat's attention. Man's sighted, boss. Right on top. The game itself has been a little bit laggy. I didn't even press the trigger. It gave me almost no time. Commissioner, get to safety. Can't just leave these people. Got it in there. At least we know how Commissioner Gordon becomes Commissioner Gordon now. Are all the bat techs wigging out because we went to the manor instead of going to uh, Wayne Enterprises? Oh, thank God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent- Thank you, Dustin. Penguin improved the armor. Batman! 
Impressive as ever. Life off the grid must be treating you well, oh well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me offing a police commissioner. <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on them, they'll go easy on you. Grogan's death is on you. And I'm here to make no sure bat, no you can No yeah. Batman, those are just words. Words can never hurt you. Unlike this drum here, which is designed to cause quite a bit of pain. Ta-ta, Batman! No, no, come on, just stay put. One less drone. If I can just find a way to hack into it, I can get to Penguin. He's made improvements, even deadlier than before. Wayne Tech, in Penguin's hands, it's a dangerous weapon. shell is much tougher than the original model. What is Penguin gearing up for? Capable of firing armor-piercing rounds. These could tear the city apart. His men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that, the bat suit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face oh, Batman. Penguin as Bruce. Batman. Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable, but far from helpless. And meeting him as Batman would play right into his hand. Penguin thinks he knows me, but he has no idea what I'm really capable of. He certainly doesn't. And that may be his undoing. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan, and that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is- Wayne, get back! That's not good news. Officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two-flip thief kill my men. If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. I see it, Lieutenant. You need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. The squirrel's getting in. I'm the last person Oswald will expect. I can use that. 
This isn't a gala, Mr. Wayne. Just making an appearance isn't gonna do jack I know in the past, all. PC's been better for this. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before mm. those drones are offline, we're both dead. Same device that okay, cool. this suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Flashback time. Back when they were best friends I hate them as first. little kids. I really, really hate them. Making fun because my mom. Because she's an Arkham. Those bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. <laughs> I'll smash all the dumb faces! Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got a Wayne in Cobblepot Park. Oswald! Bruce! Welcome! The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect law! Not that I'm upset, but... What does bring you by, hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. Feels too good to be true. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still... I'm tough you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. Maybe he knows it's a trap. You haven't exactly been subtle. See, that's the thing about Batman. You dangle an innocent life in front of him, and he has to show he can't help himself. And when he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of the picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine, or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. Lady Arkham doesn't care about you, Oz. She's just using you. Oh, we've got an understanding, her and I. You don't know right by all this brouhaha? It wasn't so long ago that you and me met in this very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? All I see is a thief. A low-life thug who stole my life. I saw an opportunity and I took it. Which is more than you ever Good job, do. guys. Damn it! 
<laughs> Where the hell is he? It's usually so bloody dropped. Unless... This wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? If anyone could afford to keep that brute on the payroll, it's you. I don't need Batman's help to bring you down. <laughs> you hear that, Batman? Someone's awfully full of himself. Not that I don't think you can handle yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed man. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some issues there, eh, hey, Bruce? I am truly sorry for what happened, Oz. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I, I was drugged. And... You? Pity me? I'm the one on top now, Bruce. And it's about bloody time. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal her fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! The way it's caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You trying to get me all shaken up? I'm not waiting any longer. That man be down. Holy shit. Look at a ton of them. We done, chat. True desperation is known. Only one escape is impossible. And all the law men around this park. And then on to the rest of this bloody city. Oh god, guys. Your mother deserved Arkham. Wow. You heard me, she was insane, wow. unfit to walk the streets. And you know it. I'll kill you! I'll kill you, you... Oh, bloody hell! Come on, really? I get that little bit of time? <laughs> Got him a second time. Bruce, you, you bastard! You got a lot to answer for. First try. You bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? <laughs> Is that all you've got? Show some dignity and defeat, Oswald. Freedom is right. I gotta admit, you surprised me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. Thank you. I didn't do this for gratitude, Lieutenant. When you've been fighting crime in Gotham as long as I have, you take your thanks where you can get them. You think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. I never thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. So with Penguin gone, does that mean we get control of the tech back? Yeah, that was all just the intro? Half hour intro for the last episode. Awesome. Yep. How go the repairs? It looks like it. Credits are rolling. Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave. Alright, Dr. Death. But it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, 
Most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take nope. time to get everything Not getting running. the tech back. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help a this delay city. delay may be a mixer side In thing. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. Fair Not enough. just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. I'm not all people. Oof. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. Whose fault it is doesn't matter, Alfred. What does is that we stop them. Hey, look at that. Eddie, Eddie did it for me, too. All right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Can't they track the IP to the Batcave? Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing. Penguin was tapping into surveillance yeah. systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech VPN. security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham Nerds. with the Wayne Tech security system can be accessed <laughs> yep. from here and remotely controlled. Nerds. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some, well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Oh, that's better. Well, no surprise here. Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her oh, yeah. birth name. Victoria For those of you who've not Arkham been watching, Vicky Vale's the bad guy. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? 
He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. Dun, dun, One the back dun. computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Everybody like he was island? using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. Like it's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return. I wish. I take Fixer also Island. explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald we'll Fort was Belt using land. money to arm them. Dust and lost land. And the codex. Vicky Vale, mid thirties, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, <laughs> and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, <laughs> the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick, and who was committed because of Hill. Falcone and my father. Yeah, Bruce Wayne's daddy, not a good guy either in this canon. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bad prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Catwoman. Mm. Our best buddy. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Didn't yeah, do. No, Bruce, but... We were best buds. Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. <laughs> I'm sure she does. That's pretty the amazing. Stole. It's a prototype. 
It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm the going to other get some car, Alfred. Selena. Also happens to be the Batmobile. Damn it. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly, my ride needs a tune up. I trusted you, and you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. See, she respects us because we did not take advantage of her. I know you're just playing into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. <laughs> as long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. As a mark, that is. From the moment we met, I knew I couldn't trust you. And yet, you did, or we wouldn't be here right now. But I can see the magic's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you, hates your entire family. Just Pretty leave much. it all behind. Do something more. Make Batman a dick. Meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but. But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Oh, I'll get you guys one to get I, your way back in. I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? But because we had a sleepover, we're best friends. Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Just stop the show, Selina. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... 
intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. Speaking of jobs. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. You're right. You're a thief. And nothing more. Glad we agree. <laughs> well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I was right. You really are just like everyone else. Boom. Can't wait to get out of this place. Dr. Death's chaos streak hurt his chances. I'll see you around. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! -na 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 -na. Alfred! Wounds to be tended. Lessons to be learned. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over Get here. Get the as bat fast stuff working, Lucius. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Senpai notices you. Skidoo Skidoo you, Alfred. Ash everywhere. All right, Dustin, let's talk Something to you in a little bit. Was thrown Thanks for lurking and hanging out, man. Or someone. Give out Dustin that follow, by the way, if you're not doing so. Awesome guy, good friend. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. So so wrestler. No, not last night. He lost his belt to me, but a scuff mark. What could have caused this? <laughs> How the hell? Not the one who said wrestler. Ace was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung so hard it broke in half. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. The lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. up in that wall from there no no blood on the poker no blood on the poker this is a good thing Yeah, that's where I'm going.
Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. Must yep. have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that Ouch. didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself, but Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Ouch. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Four numbers. Weird. Let's see what happens now. Remember, we could change the back of Peter color to like purple. And everyone was all about it. You should be rotting in a padded cell. Now, your butler, the man who raised you like his own son, will suffer in your place. But don't worry. Like the first episode, you choose the color of the tech. Blue, gold, red, or purple. Alfred. Maybe blue, green, red, or purple. Something like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Dustin. We have to keep a cool head, Lucius. Worrying isn't going to help Alfred. We need to focus. You're right. Let's get started. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual limits using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. This has been apparently repaired. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Yeah, that's cool. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. It's her old house. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. 
Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their Thanks, records Dustin. to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. The Mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stone Masons. You so the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. <laughs> the basement window. What's that outside? Give me a, a gas station or a bus terminal. Or by a bus stop. Yep. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Told ya. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. Actually. I brought my spare. One of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality, but outside of that... It doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Good call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. No cow smoothies tonight. But maybe it just limits the number of flavors. Maybe it's just like back to vanilla chocolate or strawberry. I don't know. Yeah, he does. It's the bat suit, man. You know that stuff auto zips like Marty McFly shoes. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Batman! Batman. I'm been all bad. right. We could have lost the bat balls there. This is the place. There's the Masonic stamp. There's no one here. No Alfred. Na 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 balls. I'm going to see what I can find. More clues. Standing by. So mean. What the hell? Devo the Great. What's up? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome to the Legion of Doom Shizzle. And thank you for the follow. This is. Episode 5, Season 1, the finale of Batman, a Telltale series, the first of two Swag. seasons. We're probably about, maybe about halfway through the episode. The blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they head off. Just for everybody else, we will be taking a week off. Beat him. Between season one and season two, so next Monday will be a break, and then the following Monday we'll start season two, which is another five episodes. Actually, not a pleb on Nagellan, and by the way, thank you, Dr. Death. You can join in, link in the upper corner, to code, and you can help derail my decisions. The crowd can override me using crowd play. And I'm whispering to kind of keep, uh, there's a boot print in the blood. Below the narrative. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Secret compartment. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a the closer ranks? look. They're just fun. Um, the only one that matters is the five-hour mark. 
that's for BSCW, but everything else is just more, hey, I've been here a while, and I get to, a thing that says so in chat. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Vales have a false wall in their basement? The Lady of Arkham Cave. Push or kick, push or kick. Now let's find out where the Vales were hiding. Have you seen a small room? Have you sneaky, sneaky. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Call out, are you crazy? We don't have the back grapple. Can we throw the rope ladder down? I'm going inside. Get in the hole! It's in the hole! up people what Vicky she was kept down Wow here, locked away who could do that to their child their child I'm beginning to understand what is there to understand to willfully hurt a child it's why she killed the veils they abused her what he did was right but but I can't imagine I don't know what that she went through the yeah, Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to here. I followed Alfred's <laughs> yeah, blood into this hole. I don't feel so bad for them if now. Any opportunity at all. She actually saved that little kid. That's why she left the kid alive. Clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different. Newer. Bloody clawing. Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Damn. Alfred? No. The belt. It's caked in blood. Jesus. There's a jacked up doll, too. Stop. Vicky created her here, in this room. She's very this stable for being this jacked Vicky up, actually. Became Lady Arkham. Yeah, um, I, I've liked that it's been in the game, but not all over the game. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Yeah, screw Vicky the veils. I'm glad they're dead. I'm glad they're her. dead. <laughs> From the first uh, Michael Keaton Batman, I remember I guess that one. Holy shit, there's stuff everywhere. This blood is fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. There's some glasses down there. Yep, Alfred's glasses. Alfred's glasses. Hope they got that prescription on file. One piece apart from the others. Blue. And Diva the Great, if you want to catch up, um, click the YouTube link below the video. Can't be a coincidence. The series has a playlist that we've done. Figures fleeing from something. Is that they were Batman? Like a Batman. That's not totally wrong. I mean, I like Christian Bale's Batman. Um, I was not a fan of anyone after Michael Keaton in the original run of movies. Adam West is a classic. It's really hard. I mean, they're, they're different kind of Batmans. I like the Dark Knight series, the Dark Knight turn in the DC Comics world before the New 52 reboot. So 
I mean, Chris, uh, Christian Bale Batman lines up with that vision of Batman, and that's the one I kind of like the most. Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. No, no, no. Oh, I got a link. Just that's it. Just the two drawings. Just Raise your pinky. Alfred left me another clue. Alfred's on the ball for getting his ass beat. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates. So you're gonna set him free? Like they're running away. The words highlighted are she will and liberate. She will liberate. I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Free everybody. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including our See, I don't think Ben Affleck's that terrible she's either. I think he's a victim course. of bad writing. Release the inmates. And she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. Oh, now we'll the background works. Surprise. Okay, we apparently fixed that. Ben Affleck! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't pass that up. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken just over. Got in. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. This guy should be wearing we earpieces for those those radios so people can't listen in that easily. Just saying. First time we fought her, it was not easy. This ends now, Vicky. Picky, picky, picky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. The Answer bat the ears. question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course, he's a part of no this. No special Caltech. The one man oh. Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Smoothie machine. No listening devices. His bad suffering too. Bad times. will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know how I survived. I survived. Because every night, I dream He's a good Batman. Of the revenge I take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. I didn't hit her? You never tell with those. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Uh-oh. Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. I gotta beat up Patience. He's stuck me in here! 
Me too. What you want, Grizzly Adams? He's the crazy one. Are we gonna get out? That's not good news. He's looking at Chad, I must blew that one. Just don't want to talk. I don't know about rescuing her. She's kind of dumb. You're not getting away, Vicky. Oh, we gotta do the, the planning thing. Wonder if it's on a timer. Oh shit. Joker, Joker, Joker. Yeah, it's pretty much what's going on, huh? He's in there somewhere, isn't he? And he's gonna get out. This is how he gets out. He was creepy as hell last week, too. Very odd, unique take on the Joker, that's for sure. Definitely gonna put that right to your head. Why so serious? your face mask busted lady you can't play baseball anymore to see your work in person. Jesus. You're supposed to owe the Joker one, remember? Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. Bruce owes Joker. Don't forget that. He agreed to it. Oh, sweet Jesus. Thank you. I don't want to fight that dude again. <laughs> There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people Don't now, do it. But I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. 
Oh, damn. Clothy bat suit doesn't have shock absorbers. Look at her with her hover boots. Calm down there, Iron Man. Vicky! Yeah, that's right. Iron Woman, I'm sorry. Vicky! Show yourself! Uh oh. Let him go. The butler has to die. Mer Payment for Thomas Winston. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him. It's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'm not gonna bring you someone just so you can murder him. <laughs> well then, the butler's death is on you. You're doing so much for one old man. I know how to move at this point. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I got over it. Holy crap. Vicky, stop. I had like a second games. to react there. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. I'll cut up. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Stop you the press. That? Who is that? We want the same things. Thank you. Thank Those you, Dr. Men Death. They deserved their day in court. Just like I, for, I agree, they deserved it. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice <laughs> is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Swamp? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, blaming other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Oof. This went tick, 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 so I knew something was coming. Uh-oh. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Gonna see it if you keep running away. Oh, this has finale written all over it. I don't know. The League of Shadows has not been mentioned at all in this. There's Alfred. Hold on. Now. She said she wouldn't trade him. You, you, you came, you came for me. Uh, after this is on a convenient dolly, you can wheel him out. I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, 
she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Oh, shit. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. You dumb dumb. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Think gonna end well? You're only a piece in the bigger game, but ah, shit. you're the only piece I have left. Yeah, so the, the targeting thing didn't show up until like the last second. <laughs> It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. of chaos, but not this one. Not today. Backbreaking. 
he's alive. That's a pretty awesome fight, actually, for a Telltale game. Later. As to last week's events at <laughs> Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned Not to all their cells. Inmates. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante Rogan's known dead. only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's Reign of Terror. <sighs> If the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Anyone we'll from Wow. And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Yep, Vicky's the villain. Alfred, here, l let me help. No, no, don't. With everything that's been going on, I. I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You saved my life. I've no doubt Miss Vale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time to adjust, and I'm afraid it may interfere with my butler duties. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that, after everything that's happened. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not gonna polish itself, is it? <laughs> Each of that robot eye that Thor has. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, or Harvey. Did Harvey get out? Won't be the last <coughs> threat. The door was open. Likely it said not. Contained. But you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. Spoiler. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably yep. been shaken. Definitely profiling woman is Acting bad. Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide Acting address. Commissioner. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders Fetching, you. fatherly, and Let fabulous. Gotham see Herma who Noob, Bruce Wayne my friend? truly is. And let them know what you plan to do for his future. How's your night going, man? Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. We're Though wrapping up the last Gotham, episode of season one. The only one. figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, it's been a week whether fixed he the bronze a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. That's a lot to live up to, you know. I won't let you down, Alfred. I know you won't. So, what do you intend to do about 
tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. To the Batcave. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham Shit. needs the most. Perhaps one is oh. truly the boss, and one is who you truly believe you are. You can get your votes in. Of course, it splits. Good job, everybody. Batman <laughs> will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Bourbon even gets his wish. We are currently awaiting newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon. In front of Wayne Tech. Address the city for the uh, no worries, man. In the wake of the it's so much over anyway. Perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Batman. Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? It's an important day. Your first address to the city as acting commissioner. I wanted you to know that I stand with you. I want Gotham to know that there are those who will fight for them. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. The city's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I'll always be watching out for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate hearing that. You know, I always wanted this. Wanted to know smoking to be is a bad for someday. you. To have the chance to shape this. I should probably be used to that by now. Ninja vanish. Awesome, he's not talking. One of those citizens is Batman. He wanted me to tell you all that he'll be watching, ensuring the safety of our good citizens. But one hero cannot change Gotham on his own. He needs all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. Clear the area! Get that bastard to lock up! Just minutes ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough he did to get out. stop that. But I'll give it a shot. Oh man, I got chills and that's the end of it. <laughs> Damn. It seriously got goosebumps. Oh. 76.9% of players, including us, distracted Penguin long Solution. enough to get Gordon, uh, for Gordon to get the job done. You and 27.7% of players told Albert, Alfred that it didn't matter who was at fault, that fixing things was uh, what matters. 70% wow, of people comforted Alfred.
We were in the minority on that one. So as this rolls through, this was the end of season one. Um, again, we'll take a break next Monday to, to kind of give the break the, the feel because it's a year later. Season two is a year later. So to kind of give a break in that feel that it, you know time has passed, we'll take one week off and then we will pick up the following Monday again with Batman. Uh, by the way, I gave Perm a shout out during the dialogue. Um, definitely give Perm a new book follow. He's a great guy. Uh, day streamer, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Well, 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. these days. Um, but give him a follow. He's been playing Sevtech, which is a really 250 mods in Minecraft on PC Java version of Minecraft. It's really, really deep and extensive. And if you have any love of Minecraft, give him a, a look. Also to Nagellan, uh, thank you for the, the host earlier. He brought some people in to see what we were doing tonight. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know you're not in the chat right now, but um, I do appreciate uh, Nedge bringing in her her family to watch us play some Batman tonight. Let's see. Selena. Oh, man. Look at that. Dr. Death did it to himself. 8.7%. I think we're like in some super minority now. <laughs> it's like two, like 6% didn't have, didn't have sex with her. And then um, 8.7% like just said, get out of here. When am I streaming next? Uh, probably tomorrow night I'll do some Darkest Dungeon. The next scheduled stream is Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time for BOCW Thursday Night Thunder. Wow. Yeah, we are in like, like super, super, like just forever alone mode in Batman. If you're ever in Doubt Five Sola, uh, when I'm offline, the uh, the offline screen has my schedule on it. Did you take off the cow? Wow, we were in the minority. A big time minority. Most people took off the cow for uh, cow for. Uh, for Lady Arkham. That's surprising. Uh, we were in the minority, which is pretty much how we've played this entire game in the minority. 38.4% uh, of players showed up as Batman. <clears throat> Even though our vote was split. And there are the end run stats. We were only in the minor or the majority on one, one of the five major decisions. So our here's the cool thing: um, season two, the decisions we made through all five episodes will carry forward into season two. So we still have a chit out to the Joker. Still owe him one. Apparently, we'll see what that means. All right, I'm sure it's fine. It'll all be fine. So as per usual on Monday night, not a long stream. Uh, continuing to do one, it means you're boned. Yeah, continue to do one episode at a time. So I'll uh, probably be back tomorrow night with Darkest Dungeon. I have not played it since uh, that. I have not played that specific save file since last week. We'll uh, pick up there and see if uh, we finally lose somebody or if we can keep our, our good run going. I uh, don't know what time I'll start, probably sometime between 6.30 and 8, somewhere in there. Uh, in any event, uh, we've got we got nine people. Um, I believe in, in at least helping people statistically, so we'll give nine, nine viewers to another streamer who's out there tonight. So let me go find them. Who's it gonna be? Uh, let's see. I hosted Clown last night. You know who it's gonna be is uh, JC. JC's playing multiplayer Stardew Valley on PC with the uh, the patches in uh, the update that's in its beta, I think. So we'll head over and give JC and his group. Yeah, there's some people hanging out in there, I know. So we'll give JC the uh, the host and uh, guys hang out in there, watch JC for a few minutes, uh, give him a follow if you like what he's doing. And I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow night. So again, thank you very much for hanging out. Thanks for doing season one of Batman. That is, uh, that was an experiment doing the five episodes and seeing if crowd play worked. And I think it was a lot of fun. The engagement was good. So uh, we'll definitely look into other options. Um, I'm still trying to find something else to take us past the second season of Batman. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I have until like mid June to figure that out. Anyway, awesome. Uh, thanks for being here tonight, guys. Uh, Thanks for the hosts. Thanks for popping in, everybody who's been here. I really appreciate the support. Have a great night. 
and we'll drop you here on JC in just a second.